ang boss. Set the screw blocker pops upright. Put the QR code and the LCD displays facing the same side and place the gantry standing on the base. Make sure that the gantry is adhered to both sides and tighten the screws on both sides. Use M520 screw to tighten both sides. Connect zigzag step motors on both sides. Tighten them with M416 screws from the bottom. Slide the extruder module into the Y6 bar. Pass the timing bell through the gap between the V wheel and the profile V slot with the H2 facing up. Loose the four screws on the step motor. Buckle the bell in the groove of the extruder module. Pull the bell tight outward and tighten full screws. Refer to the marks and connect the wiring accordingly. Insert the Teflon pipe deep into the connector for secure connection. Connect to transfer board interface. Fix it with cable ties. Install filament bracket at a suitable position on top of the gantry. Screw it tight. Click on Prepare Leveling menu. Pause when the nozzle is about 2cm away from the hotbed. Shift to zigzag control and press to select until to an A4 paper gap between the nozzle and the hotbed. Until the sensor lights turns red. Select Prepare on the menu for manual leveling. Sensor light just turned red indicates space between the nozzle and the hotbed is proper. Press one button to reach an A4 paper thickness between the nozzle and the hotbed. Adjust left 2 to 4 points according to previous procedures. Press OK and the nozzles move back to the center automatically. Level the center point of the bed according to previous procedures. Place filament spool on the bracket and pass the filament through the detector. Press prepare preheat and wait until the nozzle temperature reach 220 degree. Click on load and wait until the temperature reach 210 degree. Click on back and select zigzags to elevate the nozzle to avoid filament jamming. Click on back and select print file and then OK to stop printing.